Hello Omicron fans! Patch 1.2.0.0 has been released, and we're going to go over some of the changes here. So the most obvious change is that the menu has been rather redesigned. The buttons have been set up to better respect widescreen, and most importantly, the community chat function is now available on all screens rather than just the multiplayer screen as before. So you can just hit the connect button, log in from anywhere in the menu, and you're set. Also, the multiplayer menu, of course, as a result, has been changed around, so the pregame chat is now available alongside the IRC, so you can now just make your game, start it up, and you can get both chats at the same time. Of course, the pregame chat only gives you the chat to everyone in the local game, but it's very convenient nonetheless. One thing that people have noticed, unfortunately there's a bit of a bug in the last version, was that you needed to have ankle pants. This has been fixed, so you don't need ankle pants to start the game anymore. Other than bug fixes, balance changes have been a large part of this patch, most notably with the reduction of economy, which we'll go over in more detail later. Another community chat fix is that in the main game, the actual community chat is available just like it is in the menu. So like I said, it is available everywhere. Also, there have been art changes, art upgrades for all units and buildings. Mostly just texture upgrades, making them brighter, making you actually see the color. But also some specularity and gloss upgrades, so hope you enjoy that. It's one of Akron's biggest problems, and now hopefully it's been improved a fair bit. As you can see here, we have CISO going about at it, and Wrecking of course also getting its own texture. So all races have been improved and given better textures. Now, one big balance change is that now RPs harvest 8 resources per cycle instead of 10 as before. They also take a bit longer to harvest, so it means the economy is about 75% of that in vanilla. Another big change is that health of all buildings has been reduced, the higher buildings. So Macrofab's now 1,200, and Factories at 1,000, Armory's at 900. This is also true for the other races, with Vector Depot at 1,200, the Annex at 900, the Reef has been reduced to 900, and the Spire has also been reduced to 600. So a lot of buildings have had reduced health. This is a bit of an issue before, where buildings are basically unharassable. Another big change is to the Progeneration interface. Now, with a single unit, you can target Progeneration and have them see where they're going to go. With multiple units selected, instead, you get an overview when you hover over the Progeneration button and it'll show you where the units will regenerate and then will regenerate on the spot. This is meant to reduce the amount of orders needed to get units to another base, but it also allows for more precise control of progeneration, because it's often been an issue for people having butterfly effects because units don't go where they need to go for progeneration. Similarly, resource processors have also been modified to have movement and teleportation use this grid where it figures out where's going to go on the map before actually going. Resource processors have also been changed to only close at 60% health rather than any time they're damaged, which should allow for better consistency in the unplayable past. Full patch notes are on acrongame.com, and the update can be found wherever you purchase the game. Happy time traveling!